What a shot! The best of the week by far. This guy is definitely the greatest tennis player who never won a Grand Slam. David Nalbandian, a talent like no other in the tennis world. The only man who can outsmart Roger Federer so casually. Even though the Argentine has never won a slam, he has a series of legendary matches in his career. The most famous one is his historic Masters Cup final against Federer in 2005. In today's video, we're taking a look at a certain period of Nalbandian's career and how he was a nightmare to Federer, Nadal and Djokovic combined. In just 14 days, between the Madrid and Paris Masters tournaments, Nalbandian has given five tennis lessons to the big three. One to Novak, two to Federer, and two to Nadal. Some of the smartest tennis you will ever see. Before we begin, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more original tennis content. Thank you so much for watching and without further ado, let's get started. That's a brilliant forehand from Nalbandian. Trademark shot for the Argentine. Brilliant. Again, Nadal dropping the ball way too short. He's done it. And it's met at best by muted applause because the fans have been stunned into silence by the performance this afternoon. Brilliant. No doubt that Nalbandian has one of the best lobs in the business off the backhand side. He's done it. Back to back world class wins for the Argentine. Beautifully done. He does have nice hands at the net now, Bandian. Oh, such a shame that the attempted drop volley was so heavy handed. Well, I'm a big believer. It's sporty balls, and I think the players. Yes, that's more like it. Federer has been peppering up. <laughs> Different story this time. Brilliant. And what a difference the second set has been for David Nobania. Brilliant. Now Bandian at his very best. Playing some terrific all court tennis. And he's done it. Now Bandian now in with a. It's a beautiful shot, and it's almost impossible to defend against. Nicely done. Lovely return to set the points up. Oh, 
cannot do a thing wrong. Just anticipating all of Federer's movement. Brilliant. He was standing well inside the baseline. He knew exactly what he wanted to do with it. He's done it. A magnificent match by Nalbandian. Señoras y señores, con ustedes el ganador del Mutua Madrileña Madrid 2007. A moment for David Nalbandian to savor. It's working for it. It's a delight to watch. He pays the price, he got himself in all sorts of trouble there. There it is. What a match we have on our hands. What a set of tennis. Oh, another dreamlike backhand. Some of the best tennis you're ever going to witness right now. I mean, a couple of returns in this game from Nalbandian that have been out of this world. That's an excellent shot. And again. Federer had no idea which way that was going. Made it. Oh, what skill. And there it is. For a second time in three weeks, David Nalbandian beats the world number one. This time in two straight sets. So good defending off the backhand side is Nadal. He's always leaning that way. Brilliant. The serve was poor, not enough pace on it, tried to go into Nalbandian's body, but... Brilliant! A little fortunate, but perhaps deserves his luck.
Well, it's great to see players who can hit the ball so hard also have so much touch and feel around the net. Great reply from Nadal, but look at this. Brilliant. And again, tactically spot on. Brilliant. So simple, yet so effective. Scored like that against Narbanian. Has the quality of Narbanian's play simply not allowed Nadal to change his tactics in the second? Oh, what a shot! The best of the week by far. Amazing stuff. Well, these are some ridiculous angles here. Look at this first by Narbanian. The reply out. from Nadal outstanding, but around the net post. Full stretch. Prepare for that Davis Cup final. A reminder that Narbanian has beaten Federer twice. Nadal twice if he wins today. Djokovic. Gasquet and Ferrer were remarkable. And let's not forget, in the first 15 tournaments of the year, Albandian only made it through to one quarter final. He's done it. And in the end, it was a comfortable victory. The second time he's been able to beat Nadal in as many Masters Series events. And he gets his hands on a second regular season Waterford Crystal Masters Series Shield. And that's the second Waterford Crystal Masters Series Shield he's won this season. And let's not forget, he won the Tennis Masters Cup in Shanghai a couple of years ago, so really starting to make his mark on the game now.